I created a super conference in EA College Football, I simmed five season, and this is what happened. And boom, here we are. The SEC is where I put every best team. I see you, Boise State here. I put the best group of five team in, in the SEC. Give them some representation. I think it's Boise State in my opinion. But you can look through. We got Florida State, Bama, Michigan, Texas, Georgia, Ohio State, Boise State, Oregon, Missouri, Oklahoma, Ole Miss, Penn State, Utah, LSU, Tennessee, Clemson, A&M, and Notre Dame has finally joined a conference we're gonna at the end of this we're gonna see how many national championships they've won how many heismans we have and who has won the sec the most i think it is obviously going to be between ohio state and georgia i would like to see a surprise win in there but i just don't think we're going to right so with that being said let's go ahead and hop right in i'll see you at the middle of the season we'll see what's going on and boom just like that here we are week 10 the texas longhorns are currently seven and two all right interesting oh miss is at one hang on did i just see that correctly let's go take a look at the top 25 let's see where everyone is standing currently we got old miss texas miami okay oklahoma michigan utah all right let's see where some of these big boys are at ohio state's at 18 did i miss georgia hang on there's no way i had to miss georgia georgia's not even georgia's not even ranked like that's actually kind of insane. Hang on, let's go ahead and take a look at the conference standings. Let's see where everyone is sitting at. We go down to the SEC and boom, Michigan 7-1. Oregon is second, all right. Georgia is 4-4. Four four. Wow, they must have lost some fucking crazy games. All right, Tennessee's 0-8, Boy State's 1-7. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these matchups, see what's, who is beating who. So week one, Georgia beat LSU. Any the other, there's a Georgia. Ohio State beat Texas by three points. However, we're still ranked ahead of them because we're, we're him, I guess. I haven't played any of these games, by the way. I'm letting the Sim just completely take it. Missouri got blown out. I don't think there's anything crazy. If, if I missed something, let me know in the comments. Week two. Okay, there's Georgia. Okay, Mississippi. The old Miss being at one is crazy to me. Right, I'm just going to go through these pretty quickly. You can stop and take a look at all of them if you would like. So we're actually, we actually beat the number one team. All right, and by we, I just mean Texas just because I'm, I'm Simming as them. All right, I'm going to look through this, and if there's a crazy one, I'll go ahead and like a crazy update that I see. I'll show you. Like, I'm just looking for the Georgia losses, but I'll show you them when I see them. So here we are. We have one. Alabama ended up beating Georgia. Miami also took a, a, a victory off of Georgia, beating them by one single point. Penn State beat Georgia by three. This is a three losses in a row for Georgia. Not a good start for my preseason picks. And then Texas, we beat Georgia. There's their four losses all in a row. Kind of wild, I won't lie. Very, very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and sim all the way to the end of the season. We're going to take a look at the Heisman winners. And we're going to look at the SEC championship game and the actual college football playoff. So in year one, the Heisman does not come to the SEC. Unfortunately, it is with Baylor receiver Keytron or Kenton Jackson. I don't want to say his name. That's kind of an insane year. 23 touchdowns is actually insane. If that was a real stat line, honestly deserving of the Heisman in real life. So good for him. But moving on. And in year one, Texas has made the playoff. Let's go ahead and look at the rest of the playoff. Let's look at the SEC championship game and let's see how everything went. So the SEC championship game was beaten or was won by Alabama by one point against Ole Miss. Wow, I really thought Ole Miss was going to go all the way when I saw them halfway through the season. That's kind of a W. It was by one point, so that's actually insane. We're going to go look at the playoff bracket, and we're going to get you there. The 12-team bracket. Uh, you can't see it under my face, but it is North Carolina State in Texas, Ohio State, Oregon, Michigan, Kentucky, Ole Miss, Utah, Alabama, Miami, Arkansas, and USC. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the 12 teams coming from the Super Conference. I fully anticipate one of them winning the whole thing. We're going to sim to the end of it. We're going to see if the SEC can take it this year. So at the very end, Michigan ended up beating Texas 41 to 14. Of the final four, three from the SEC. And of the final, final four, three of them were SEC. That's really the important thing. That's absolutely sick. We're going to take a look at all Americans. We're going to see how many we have. We have one, two, three. The SEC has 13 first team All Americans. That is absolutely awesome. Can't wait to see the rest that we have. The Super Conference is should truly, truly at work. We're going to go ahead and show you guys the top recruiting stories, the top recruiting classes. So the top class belongs to Notre Dame. Awesome. The SEC is absolutely dominating recruiting right now. Like almost every single one of these top. 13 14 15 teams is really a part of the sec so we like to see the hoarding of talent inside college football yes 
I'm here for it. Notre Dame had 34 prospects sign, commit. Three five stars, 24 stars, and 11 three stars is kind of insane. Me personally, I would take Oregon's class over Notre Dame. I do not know how Oregon did not get the number one class, but that is what it is. Awesome. Let's see you guys halfway through year two, and we'll show you what it looks like now. All right, midway through the season, and te well, Texas is looking too hot, but let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the SEC. Northern Texas is 7-0. Okay, Michigan, Clemson. All right, so the SEC, I think, is just beating each other up so bad that we're just not going to be top of the rankings, which I kind of expected to happen. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at conference standings. Let's take a look at the SEC. AM and Boise State's having a really good year. I actually thought they'd get better over the time. Georgia, Clem, Oregon. Wow, a lot of these teams are just not doing so hot that I actually thought would do all right. Like, I thought Notre Dame would be do pretty decent. Like, Bama's pretty bad. Like, this is kind of insane. I thought, I honestly thought Georgia would just steamroll everybody. I thought or Ohio State would steamroll everybody. So, like, this is kind of really exciting me that, like, there's... A lot of competition now hoarding the talent is good for the sport it's games like this right here that is honestly something i wanted to see michigan is the second ranked team in the country and they're getting blown out by georgia like ohio state beat fsu not really shocking but this game is crazy right here like who would expect this or a m beating texas that bad like this is an insane concept that i'm so happy i'm like putting the experiment to the test in this video yet another receiver in the big 12 just won the heisman with 19 touchdowns and over 1,300 yards. Did I break the game? Like, if, if, it's a, if it happens the third time in a row, I'm going to say I broke the game. But we're going to find out if two is just a coincidence. We made a terrible bowl game. Let us go look at the college football playoff. And let's go see how many SEC teams made it. Only three teams made it from, from the SEC. AM is hidden by my camera. We have Ohio State, then we have Georgia. Who would have seen that coming? I think we still win the national championship. I think these teams are just beating each other up. We're going to go ahead and hopefully see. Come on, SEC. Pull through. Get us another natty. The SEC, unfortunately, missed out on the national championship. It was Auburn beating Texas Tech. Let's go ahead and take a look. We didn't even make the final four. This is insane. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know how. I, I don't get it. I don't understand how these teams, I, the sim might be broken. Something might be broken. How many All-Americans did we get? Let's take a look. So the SEC still had 10 of 22 first-team All-Americans. That is not including second team, which I'm not even going to count because we're the SEC. If we're first or last, baby, like Ricky Bobby. If you ain't first, you're last. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the top classes of the second year. Alabama. See, this is more like it. Alabama, Oregon, Oklahoma, Notre Dame, U USC, Ohio State, Michigan, Clemson, Penn State. All right. All right, Texas only signed five players this year. Let's get to next season. I'll show you guys halfway through what it looks like. Halfway through the season, Texas is 5-4, but this is not about Texas. Let's look at the college football playoff. Top 25, Nebraska. Where is the top one? Michigan at 6-2 for the SEC. Georgia 6-2. A&M 7-2. Florida State 7-1. Oregon 72 that really is the top of the SEC let's go and take a look at the SEC standings here everyone's doing as you can see Alabama is currently number one in the SEC they're for one of the conference Florida State Michigan A&M and Clemson round out your top five the very bottom of the conference LSU Missouri Penn State I actually really thought these three would be doing better I mean Penn State's the 90 overall team and they're one and four like someone make that make sense please well, yeah, we're going to go ahead and move on to the bowl season, and I'll let you guys know who made it, who's him, who's not him, and we'll go from there. The Heisman and in, it is another receiver with 19 touchdowns. I, I It's not the Big 12, but I, I don't understand. 90 catches, 1,300 yards, 19 touchdowns. Let me know if this is happening in your games. I seem to have no quarterbacks ever win a Heisman. Let me know if you guys get the same issues uh, down in the comments below. This year, we have four teams. a and is once again covered up on my camera below, but we have Michigan, Oregon, Notre Dame, and a and as the four teams. Oregon is the SEC champion. I have them winning the Natty this year. Come on. Do it for the SEC. Let's see what happens when we go ahead and sim all the way through. I was wrong, but it's still the SEC. Notre Dame took down the defending national champions, Texas Tech, 49-32. to That is another national championship for the SEC. I think that makes two out of three so far for the video. That's perfect. We're going to take a look 
at the all americans i'm going to count them up and let you know how many we have yet another year with 10 first team all americans for the sec that's awesome as long as we can keep this up with this rate we're going to be dominating college football more than we already are here are the top classes miami always seems to recruit really really well but alabama clemson oregon georgia oklahoma ohio state and notre dame all doing pretty well texas had a couple more recruits to see where they are let's see how realistic this game is game what are we doing only 10 commits better than last year though we're gonna go ahead and sim we're gonna start the new season i will see you guys halfway through the next one i was about to start simming but then i saw this right here malachi nelson is the pre-season heisman favorite remember that because i said in the last video right that i think malachi nelson by year three or four of his of his uh, time in boise state could be a heisman winning quarterback in the game i don't know about real life i think he could do it i think he has potential but i don't know about giving the heisman to a uh group of five team half of the season i mean it's no surprise texas is terrible now let's go ahead and take a look at the college football actually let's go ahead and take a look at the sec first and we'll take a look at the rest of the playoff rankings all right in the sec notre dame nine and oh let's go I thought at some point a team would take over. I really thought it was going to be Georgia, Ohio State. I was just wrong. Like, where where is Georgia at? Like, they're they're here. They're three and five. Like, they're just not very good right now. Six and two, Ohio State, Ole Miss, but Notre Dame, Florida State, LSU, Michigan, Ohio State. That is your top five right now. Not a bad top five represented by a lot of good brands here. Perfect. Uh, Boise State is four and five kind of expected that let's go take a look at the college football playoff top 25 we have wisconsin number one i just saw there ain't no how they're not how they're in front of notre dame i i do not know old miss is a three loss second win team or three loss number three ranked team florida state's up there utah's up there they've been kind of quiet this this, this experiment tennessee ohio state Clemson, Michigan, those are our top ranked SEC teams after the season. Let's go ahead and head to the bowl games. Let's go ahead and show you uh, who made the playoff, who the SEC champion is, and all that good stuff. All right, as we take a look at the college football playoff, wow. Okay, so it's going to be Notre Dame against Wisconsin in the final. Wow. All right, I seems a little bit farther. I want. I, th I thought about stopping here, kind of seeing what happens, um, and kind of going off of this, right? Wow. What a final we have. We're going to go ahead and go next week. We're also going to look at who won the Heisman. Top recruiting class goes to Oregon. SEC has another number one recruiting class. Ohio State, Notre Dame, Michigan, Clemson, Oklahoma, Tennessee are all top 10. Awesome. By the way, the Heisman was some receiver. Uh, it didn't give me the pop-up message, so I don't remember what school he was, but he was a receiver. But yeah, that's awesome. That's a lot of recruits. 35 recruits, 4, 5 stars, and 28 4 stars. That is insane. I feel like in real life, that's like insane to have this many. But in, in this game, I guess not that bad. Taking a look at the conference standings, Georgia up top, 5-1. and one. Oklahoma, Ohio State, Penn State, and Ole Miss round out your top five in the SEC. Uh, bottom, I mean, it's Boise State, Bama, and Tennessee like it's been the entire video. I think the bottom three have honestly been way more consistent than like the top three, which I'm actually kind of shocked at. But I guess it is easier to suck than be good. So uh, the rest of the co college football top 25, Kentucky's at one, Colorado's at two, Ole Miss, Oklahoma, Notre Dame, uh, Ohio State's down here in 10, LSU at 12, Michigan at 16, so on and so on and so on. We're going to go ahead and move on to the bowl games, and I will let you guys know who is in the bracket. will not get mad at, of course, the Mizzou. This is, wait, 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 wait. This is the first Heisman for the SEC. W. Missouri landed uh, Thad Mayweather in recruiting. 18 touchdowns, 1,200 yards. That's a W. W. Mizzou, baby. Let's go. Um, perfect. One Heisman for the SEC. Stoked. Didn't make the playoff. Big shocker for that for us. Let's go take a look at who did make the playoff playoff bracket. Can we see who it is? Michigan, Oklahoma. Old Miss, Notre Dame, covered by my camera, Ohio State. That is the representatives from the SEC. That is more like it. I want to see this many SEC teams constantly in here. I want to see us win another natty. Like I want to go four for or three for four so far. Let's do it. All right, come on. All right, national championship. USC beat Kansas State. Lincoln Riley gets his natty. Kind of a bad one, I won't lie. I mean. 
Ole Miss was our only representative from the SEC, and they lost Kansas State. That's tough. All right, that is all fine. Let's go take a look at all Americans. I'm going to count and show you how many we have. So this is our worst year so far. We have eight total all Americans. First team. I say only eight. That's still great. I think most conferences would be happy with eight first team all Americans. We're going to go ahead and head to National Signing Day. I'm going to show you recruiting classes. We're going to head into the final season of this video. Let me know right now in the comments who you think is going to win the final national championship of the video. All right, top classes. Number one goes to Florida. All right. Uh, Kentucky, Auburn, Notre Dame is the top one at, from the SEC at four. Oregon, Clemson, Bama, LSU, next four in a row. Florida State, Ohio State. All right, just a couple, a couple big names here in the top 25. That's perfect. Not another top class for the SEC, though. A little underwhelming. So halfway through, Texas as Tennessee, both not doing hot. Let's go take a look at the college football top 25. Wait, is that two SEC teams? Three SEC teams. I see at the top. Ole Miss, Michigan, Ohio State. That's absolutely W's. Penn State's doing really good. Florida State's up there. That's absolutely awesome. I love seeing the SEC represented at the top. Let's go take a look at the SEC standings, and we're going to see how that's going on. We have Michigan, Florida State, Ole Miss, Ohio State, and Penn State as your top five. Missouri, let's go, baby. This is what happens when you get Heisman winners. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, we're still not good, but it happens. But yeah, that's our top five. All right, that's great. I think all five of these teams should make the college football playoff bracket, which means we should end the year with an SEC national champion. That is what I want to see. Let's head to the bowl games. Let me show you who is in the playoff. It has happened a second SEC court or uh, Heisman winner, but it is a quarterback, 40 touchdowns, only four picks. That's awesome. Finally, in 2029, we have another Heisman quarterback. No bowl game this time for Texas. Let's take a look at this bracket. How many SEC teams do we get? I think we have five. Five, five of the dot. Let's go. So Ohio State won the SEC. We have Oklahoma in there, Ole Miss, Penn State, and Michigan. Come on. Someone bring home the gold for the SEC for the third time in five years. Did the SEC do it? They did not. Colorado did it. Good, good, good for them. Good, good for Colorado. The SEC just only could win, what was it, two in five years with the most powerful conference of all time? Like, that's insane. All right? To me, that's insane. I don't think that's realistic. I think all these teams would be winning national championships for the next five years. All right. That is, I'll take a look at the final top 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Only seven in the top 25. I think it's just because they beat each other up constantly. Constantly have the toughest schedule. Strength of schedule must be ridiculous. We're going to go and take a look at the final bit of it. We're going to see who had the best recruiting class. And then we're going to go ahead and take a look at all of the stats and how everything happened. Top classes are Florida, Oregon, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Florida State. That's your top five. Four, five stars, 17, four stars, seven, or 14, three stars. Not a bad class, if I say so. Who had the most four? Yeah, who had the 31 four stars? It's insane. Who had a, anyone have any one stars? We had a couple. New Mexico State, W, W, W. You got 34 new players. We love that. Minnesota, Kansas, Tulsa, a lot of two stars. I didn't check that stuff. That is the end of the video. Bye.